take on this cute-looking succubus. But she's a powerful opponent with few weaknesses. We've come this far. We can't lose yet. Oh, that's crappy. What's uh, what's the actual price if you didn't get it for free with uh, Zestiria? It doesn't show me since I already have it. Oh wow, only 20? That's actually really good. Uh, but, but he's talking about Tales of Symphonia. For, uh, it's coming out on Steam on uh, Tuesday. That was a cinch. It was. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited too. You should. It's. De I'm sure it's definitely. I mean, Great. I would have loved if they were gonna do um, what they're doing with Final Fantasy VII. I would have loved if they did like a complete remaster of the first Tales of Symphonia, like new graphics, everything. Like if it looked like this game, it would. I would just love that. But um, I'm still happy that it's coming. Tales of Symphonia is definitely the most, I would say, uh, known Tales game out there. I'd say it's a tie between that and Vesperia. In terms of character development, I would say yes to Symphonia. Then again, I can't really speak too much because, um, I've only played Zestiria, i played Abyss, i played Vesperia, and i played Symphonia. I've only played those four. If I had a PlayStation 3, I would have played a lot more. I heard Tales of Zillia was really good. Uh, I'm playing with a controller. I wouldn't be able to play this with a keyboard. If you're asking if it's for you, then yes, partially. Let's restore our health. Okay. I always go the wrong way when I do this. Um, yes, they are actually, um, Tales of... I, I can't even pronounce it. Berseria, I think it's called. That's coming out later this year. Is coming out on Steam and PS4. It actually looks really good, because, you know, one, the main character is actually going to be a girl, which is the first time they've done that, and two, she's got, like, this demonic arm in the trailer, so that'll be fun to play as. Um, okay, so how can I best explain this? Um, long story short, basically, like, if you want to think of, like, the whole... I'm not very religious, but, um, I know, like, you know, the whole Bible thing with Jesus and, like, he was a shepherd to his people. This is kind of loosely based on that. 
whereas there are beings in the world called Seraphim that you can't, that normal people can't see unless they have a high resonance to it, like basically a high spiritual power. And basically, the evil of men creates a substance called malevolence, which turns humans into monsters, but only the shepherd, who is the main character I'm playing as now with the black cloak, can see. And basically the whole point of the shepherd is to quell these uh, the malevolence that is taking over these humans who have become hellions. And basically there's a villain called the Lord of Calamity who is in charge of all the malevolence and is trying to pretty much end the world. And basically the shepherd has to guide the people and increase his own powers in order to stop him so that humanity can... Humanity and the Seraphim can come get together as one. Kinda like how, you know, Genus and Rain wanted, like, humanity and the elves, the half-elves, to kinda, like, get along. So kinda like that. That probably wasn't a very good description, but it's kinda hard to explain. You understand it better when you play it. But it's definitely an interesting story. There might be something nearby. But basically, the main character, Saray, was basically found and raised by the Seraphim, even though he's a human. But he had a high resonance, so he was always able to see them. But normal humans can't see, like, like these four characters right here, Miklio, Lila, Edna, and Zavid, they're all Seraphim of different elements. And they can't be seen by normal people, but Saray is the shepherd, and Rose is actually his squire. The shepherd can have one squire at a time who basically can help fight. And Rose was able to become a squire because she had already had a high resonance. So she had, was able to kind of tap into the powers as well with the uh, Seraphim. I mean, you have a different squire earlier on. Um, her name is Alicia, and she doesn't have a huge resonance, which means she can't merge with the... Uh, like, as you've seen, as I'm doing in battle, I've been kind of fusing them together, you know, and which is called armatization. Alicia, because she didn't have a high resonance, she couldn't do the armatization, but because Rose has a higher resonance, she is able to do it. And kind of like, it just merges their powers together. You know what, I'm gonna fight this guy. Stupid elephant. Mammoth. I'm ready. Its size speaks for itself. It's ferocious too. Don't let your guard down. Try not to get sucked into it. Sucked into? It's said that Garudas possess godlike levels of mana. And it can totally fly too. So you better watch it. Uh, no, I've actually never heard of that one. I've been trying to get more into Japanese RPGs lately. And uh, if you guys stick around, I'm actually going to finish this playthrough tonight so you guys will see how it ends if you haven't seen it before. Um, so out of all the Tales games, who is your guys' favorite character? 
I'm interested to hear. And, and why? Just pretty interested to see what everyone's thoughts are. Alright, no problem, man. Yeah, I guess if you're going to keep watching, uh, definitely get some food. Because <laughs> I think this might be another hour or so that um, this is going to go on for, at least till I uh, finish up. Okay, that's three. Okay, let's do this. No save point up here. This guy's kind of going to be a dick. But we can do this, right? Maybe. Yeah, whatever. We can't He's weakened by water. We're good. All right, thirty-two thousand. It's not bad. Some of these bosses are annoying because they take forever. Another downside to this game is, um, unless I haven't figured out how to do it yet, but, um, the characters you aren't controlling won't heal themselves with items. In Vesperia, they would, there was a skill, oh man, there was a skill you could turn on and they would just heal themselves. Oh, he's got defense up, so he's not taking as much damage as he should. I hate having to heal them myself. I guess it's not that bad when there's only, um, when everyone's fused together, because there's only two people to watch over, but sometimes it's hard to focus on healing them while I'm trying to fight. Come <laughs> on. 